Uh, that's my boy. Oh, here comes your mother. There's my little angel. Oh, computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. What a good boy. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little body. Hey! Easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Choco Rockets? Sure. What difference does it make? Good morning, Commander Shay. Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galarctica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Nutrition paste for you today, tater top flavor. <sighs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. 
Flying a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's an... Ice cream avalanche! Yay! That's not worse. Help! Someone! Won't someone save us? Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, Always sir. Take your time. Eating isn't a race. This dinner pill. Leftovers medley. <sighs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. <laughs> No thanks, computer. Nabby lumps? Yuck. You know I hate that. Soylent dreams. No, not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. Man, that sounds horrible. Brain blasters? Ugh, take that away. Strawberry comet trails. Please, don't take this personally, but... No thanks. Whole green nutrient paste? Are you kidding? Gross. Mutant munch. Yuck. 
Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime? I think I'm allergic to that, aren't I? Splarg? Splarg? Seriously? Are you trying to make me unplug you, computer? Oh, come on! You love Splarg! Your saliva has a 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? What mission should we go on next, sweetie? We have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. I'm aboard the distressed vessel, Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. What happened here? From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? Yes. Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Oh, not sure what this one is. <sighs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? Oh, I gotta get out of this routine. I could use a spacewalk, I guess. Okay. Watch out for that foreign body on the hull. Yeah. No. I can't abort this mission until I've seen it through, no matter how stupid it is. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Valoria! Valoria, be sender tartine! Bella! Where is she? Ah, sugar bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Hello? Shh. Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. She's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? 
Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. Ugh. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! You seem excited. I am! I think I'm gonna barf. That could be all the cupcakes you've been eating. I'm just sad I'm too young. I wish we didn't have to wait 14 years for another mog. I'll try to make you proud, Rocky. I'm already proud of you, stupid. Cupcakes! Oh my god! Yay! Cupcakes! Oh my god! Yay! Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. You sure this Maiden's Feast is a good idea, Pops? I... It's what you want, right? I guess so. I mean, you hear about it all your life. I'm just starting to wonder. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll do great. Last chance to stop this thing, Pops. <laughs> you kidder. Last chance to stop this thing, Pops. <laughs> you kidder. No. Lavina? What is it, girl? Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their maidens feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late! If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already! Oh! So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast! If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Where? Grandpa Beastender? Huh? Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. Yeah, 
I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahmal. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors! It's a travesty, Bella! Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast and her blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Did I leave it in the kitchen? No. I think that's supposed to look like Magchathra, my handsome date to the prom. Definitely somewhere out here. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. One of my mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. Think, Morelia, think. It's just got to be. Don't touch the red ones! Mom made those just for me! You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! That explains a lot. You eat the one you've got before you grab another. Mom, it's her special day. Let her have all the cupcakes she wants. Except the red ones. You eat the one you've got before you grab another. Mom, it... Grandpa Beastender? Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> For me? For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? I must be losing my mind. Ah, uh, why not? No, no. For 
me. No, Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. Nope, not there. For me? Split it with you? Deal. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? No, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Where would I? Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here! <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Majestic to behold, awe-inspiring, powerful, mysterious. But Mog Chathra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chathra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chathra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. No, it's not right. For one I should be in the center. Ha! <laughs> I make myself the center of any room I'm in. Center of mass, maybe. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopper with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. If it's close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Sorry, but beauty is nothing without a little heat. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No! I give my life! No, me! Sheesh.
here I am, merciful King Mog Chopra, over here! No! This way, Great One! I am the one you've come so far to find! Over here! I am in blue for you! See? He's drawn to the flame, like a giant moth! What? No way! He's coming my direction! Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh, yes! Take your time, look over all your options, and then, after some careful consideration... Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about something bubbly to wash it down? Actually, I could use a swig of something. Okay, I'll see what I can get you. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. I just want you to know that it's a... Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. But I think maybe we should. I mean, let's not. Oh hey, God, I over here, my you mind. big dummy! I've changed my mind. <laughs> Do you have any thought? We gotta get out of here. Uh, are you kidding? I've been starving myself for weeks for this. Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. You never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much... Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Oh, no! That should have been me! Okay, here we go. That's right, it's my time. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? What do you got? How about the slimming corset? Why would I want to hide my best assets from Mom Chatra? He'll be looking for a full-size meal after his long trip. Need a towel? No. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I'm fuck you alive if you come near my food again! How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm, sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Oh, it's not over. Well, it's true I haven't heard you singing yet, but he's obviously made his decision. Ugh, I know they don't make toothbrushes your size, but really? How about the slimming corset? Why would I want to hide my best assets from Mom Chandra? He'll be looking for a full-size meal after his long trip. Just make it work. Hey, Bluebird, can I get a lift out of here? Whew. Glad I'm not wet. It's nice to be armed, but I wish this were more monster-sized. Why don't you? Why don't you pick on someone your own? I mean, uh, someone who might punch you. Shredding my mom's dish towel isn't going to help. One of my mom's special dish towels. And it's need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat dainty. Shredding my mom's dish towel isn't going to help. 
one of my mom's special dish towels. It's nice to be armed, but I wish... Need a utensil to eat that? No thanks. I feel silverware detracts from the hand feel of food. I don't... Well, good luck. Yeah. Nothing left but crumbs. Horrible. Nothing left but crumbs. Horrible. I'd never be able to cut through that thick hide. Even those eyes look armor plated. If those are even eyes. Come here, little birdie. I have a treat for you. Shredding my mom's dish towel isn't going to help. Much as I'd like to shred this thing, it might... Why don't you come over here and give me a ride? I've never heard of stuffing a corset. Probably because nobody does that. Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it! Thanks! I don't need it where I'm going! Come here, little birdie. I have a treat for you. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Never mind. Just one. Hey, that's cool. I'm more of a dessert first type person, but... How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well, thanks. Don't mind if I... Look at me! I'm soaked! Quick! Quick! Help me put myself back together! Uh, a little help here? Come on! Quick! Before he sees me! I've never heard of stu- Ooh. Glad I'm not wearing that anymore. One of my mom's special dish towels. And it's still... I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? Oh! <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Are you part vulture or something? How can... Here, birdie! Oh, come on! So close! Much as I'd like to do. Glad I'm not wearing that anymore. Gotcha. That's it. Flap those big blue wings. Just a little bit harder. Come on, girl. Give it all you've got. You can have the bottom half. Get back here, you crazy brat! That's my girl! She's doomed us all! Mug Chakra's fury will soon rain down upon our village!
Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. 